Imagine this. You're in an exam room and it's dead silent. Someone near you grabs a bottle of water to have a small sip. They swallow, which makes an inaudible sound. Still, there's that feeling of irritation. Still, you feel like shutting your ears and trying to distance yourself from that sound. But not a single soul seems bothered by this. In fact, you seem to be the only person who notices the sound. And that is the not so beautiful world of misphonia. A world I'm forced to live in and a world I like to pretend doesn't exist. For many people here today, this would have been a new word hearing, misphonia. So what does it mean? Misophonia is actually a disorder in which, um, in which, in which specific sounds cause emotional or physiological responses. People with misophonia might say it drives you crazy. But what does the word misophonia mean? What is its origins? It comes from the Greek words mosos, hate, and phone, voice. If you put those together, it means hate sound, more specifically, oral sounds caused by other people. Some sounds that trigger my misophonia are chewing, swallowing, eating, um, yelling, pouring water, drinking water, etc. These sounds for me are like flies constantly flying around your ears, or a baby crying when you try and get your perfect beauty sleep. The there's also a range of misophonia that goes from mild to severe. This affects the way that you, that you react to the sound, and so we all react differently depending on which range you might be on. Some might start crying and raging, some might choose to punch you in the face, some might try to flee, and many would try to close their ears and distance themselves from the sound. Psychologists have been arguing that misophonia should be known as a mental disorder, falling within the spectrum of obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. Researchers also believe that those with misophonia have issues with their auditory cortex. Auditory cortex is the part of the brain which filters out unwanted background noises. Research shows that a brain with misophonia cannot filter noise the same way as a typical brain. My brain, for one, does not filter noise which is unimportant for noise which is necessary. For me, the sound of my classmates chewing is the same as a fire alarm constantly going around in my head. And so, for lunch, it might be fun for others and relaxing, but for me, well, you can imagine how that would feel. But why do I choose to talk about this today? Well, I try to explain this to many friends and families, and they always state the same thing. Well, everyone gets annoyed when someone chews loudly. And though this might be true, and though the sound of someone chewing and clicking their pen constantly might be irritating, people with misophonia might feel disgust and even rage when exposed to certain sounds. Now, people here have talked about how pretending has caused bad habits to multiple people. But in this scenario, it's actually helpful. Pretending I can't hear the sound and trying to zone out from it helps me get more used to hearing it, and so I pretend.